Hello Facebook, how y'all doing? YouTube, what's up? Today I want to talk to you about something very important concerning followers and leaders. Look, I have a relationship with God, you know, and I manifest the things of God pretty much, you know, in a great way, you know, but I'm not great because I want to become greater than an individual. I think to me that's ridiculous, you know, because you are in, you will always be an individual whether you, whatever height or depth you go to. You just trying to be a better person in life and not better than anybody. That's just ridiculous for me. But the thing is, you know, I'm become a better person because I understand that I'm Genesis 1:26, created in the image and the likeness of God, not created in the image and likeness of a man, created in the image and the likeness of a God that, you know, created the universe. And is about love, joy, peace, gentleness, long suffering, meekness, timorous, faith, righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. And about greatness and light. But I my agenda is trying to reflect them as much as I can. Not trying to, you know, be better than somebody, but better to reflect him more and more, you know. And, you know, the thing is, I don't feel no pressure in becoming, being, you know, a Christian or being a man of God, you know, trying to uh, please people. Never, no, I'm not a people pleaser. I've never been a people pleaser. You know, you can ask my brother and sister. Never try to compete with the spotlight. But the thing is, I'm all about, you know, being about who I am concerning what my objective and what I'm all about doing concerning I'm, you know, of I'm creating the image and likeness of God. Therefore, I'm about the objective of focusing on being the image and the likeness of God. You know, I'm not about being like people. You know, if God's up there, people's down here. I'm not, you know, I'm up, you know, right there. But the thing is. In that, in understanding that, I learn to more likely follow him more than I follow other people. And the thing is, in my following him, I start being coming more like him, more like God, more like Jesus Christ, you know. And the thing is, I, I'm more of a follower, you know, than I am. A leader but I understand that whatever whatever I'm doing I'm leading someone you know to me I'm aware of that but the thing is my focus is more likely being coming a follower of Jesus Christ God and Jesus Christ than more likely trying to lead people behind me you know because I love what Paul says it's just beautiful. It's 1 Corinthians 11 and 1. You know, being a follower of Christ. I, I follow I follow Christ. So follow the example of Christ in me. Don't follow Mac Johnson, but follow the example of Christ that I show forth. Now, if I don't show forth a Christ example according to the Word of God, don't follow that example. You know, follow what is according to the Word of God that you see me displaying, you know. And that's what you're supposed to mainly focus on in being a Christian. You know, you're not supposed to focus, you're supposed to utilize people as an example concerning what they do. I'm gonna show you the you know key people you gotta understand how you doing that uh, that that shows the example Moses and Joshua. You know what I'm saying? Joshua 
followed Moses and Moses did things great thing Moses did good things and Moses did bad things unfortunately but now you know and now it's Elijah and Elisha now Elijah Elisha followed Elijah Elijah did good things and he did bad things you know but the thing is you follow their example to learn from their example to become a better leader for the purpose see and that's what's so beautiful I love about understanding the true objective you know and I see people you know lose that objective you know because of people exalt them and say they're great leaders they're greatest or whatever and they start doing it for the sake of people and stuff like that and they get you know people worship them give them money put them in you know uh, big time arenas and stuff like that and they get that hear that that those people you know and you get in Lucifer's position and maybe end up becoming like Satan I saw Satan fall down as lightning. But anyway, but the thing is, if you focus on the main objective and what you're doing, it shouldn't be no problem. Hello, how y'all doing? It shouldn't be no problem in accomplishing what needs to be accomplished. You know, the goal is to become the image and the likeness of God through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and reflect him reflect jesus christ not so much about uh being jesus christ we can't be jesus christ we can only be a mirror to reflect him you know and that reflect be like jesus christ and or christ like it's supposed to be the agenda of the ministry not you know carrying a title that people feel like they have to exalt you for some apparent reason you know it's just ridiculous you know the thing is the agenda is to you know get soul saved and the agenda is to get people more you know greater than you like I my desire to get somebody on fire than I am but I know that you know it's it's not might be easy not be easy for that person but I'm going to encourage you and uplift you and root for you that you can accomplish higher heights, you know, in the deeper depths, to get in the image and the likeness of God. You know what I'm saying? And not, you know, that's what it's all about. You know, it's not about, you know, becoming this great person that people start making statues of you and start, you know, making you a great image. It's not about that. It's getting people in the image and the likeness of their creator is the agenda that should be you know the focus and not being great and staying staying on course according to the gospel of Jesus Christ you know the scriptures you know and that's what should be the agenda of of everybody that's in ministry of everybody that's trying to you know you know minister and and not this image of you know trying to be a leadership and trying to get people to follow you to worship your great ministry i see that i'm like oh god i mean but the thing is it's about you know being an example of jesus christ you know coming in agreement with the word of god and letting people know that they can be set free and the focus on to keep everybody pure keep everybody clean you know to make it to the bride of Christ, you know what I'm saying? You know, the bride, you know, no spot, no wrinkle, no blemish. That's supposed to be really what's important because you can be busy trying to be better in this ministry and you know you got all these spot and wrinkles on you. You haven't, you know, won't accomplish the purpose that you were supposed to accomplish, you know? And people don't realize that, you know, that you quit trying to be better than everybody because you know it's like what Paul says you know spirit reap the spirit is everlasting life flesh do it in flesh is corruption see even the thing you're trying to compare yourself in the flesh you know and trying to be better than somebody in the flesh it's going to produce corruption if you get corruption on you Jesus Christ come bam you ain't coming in the rapture you staying on earth you know going through all this tribulation 
So you need to understand that in this follow the word of God. That's why we're supposed to be servants. Servants. Only servants can truly enter the, into the kingdom of God because they're followers. They're not making, you know, rules. They're following rules. And that's why this world, you know, this Christian system right now is not going to, it's going to corrupt people to not become, you know, a true minister of God because it's too much making rules. And that's what religion, you know, is all about to me, you know, making man-made rules and not really following the rules that is given according to scriptures. That's why it's just so corrupted and God is not making a greater impact that he or in Jesus Christ ain't making it the way he's supposed to make and that gets on my nerves but anyway so I hope you understand where I'm coming from where I'm getting at that you represent Jesus Christ on a realist and that you you know become a follower of God like David you know become a servant a follower more than just a minister all right to God be the Lord and him forever and ever Followers. That's what it's all about.